What's up, world? It's your girl, T. Fizzle. Okay, so I got a letter from one of my subscribers. Um, it's one of my guy subscribers. I want to go ahead and read you all what he wrote to me. He wrote, can you make a video discussing interracial relationships and children? It's something that really needs to be discussed. Some black women get mad when people of their race date other races. I do have a preference of women, and I like, and I think black is beautiful. I find dark-skinned women very sexy and gorgeous. I find beauty in every race. Why should you be attacked for liking who you like regardless of their race or skin color? There are people who say don't date outside your race, but I feel like why not? Some of us wouldn't even exist if our ancestors didn't intermingle or have sex. So I'm not understanding why people are so insecure with interracial relationships and attack, and attack people because of what they like. I also have a problem with some black people tearing each other down because of their skin color. We can't help the way our skin looks or the way that we were born. Um, we can't all be the same. Also, I have an issue with people saying that interracial kids are better looking than other people's kids. I think that's ridiculous. I think you should make a video on this because I value your opinion a lot. So thank you so much for sending me that. Um, people ask me all the time how I feel about interracial dating, interracial relationships. Personally, I have no problem with them. I think, I think people are free to date whoever they want to date. You know, And a lot of people get upset with the whole interracial dating thing. And I don't think that it should be an issue if you're secure with yourself. If you got a good black man or a good black woman, you shouldn't worry about if another one is wanting to date a white woman or, or, or a black man or whatever. That's that person's business. I think the issue that people have with interracial dating, and it's an issue that I have as well, is people who feel the need to, once they date outside their race, to knock their own race. You know, So now because you're with Sally Sue, all of a sudden all black women ain't shit but you're black and your mother's black. Or all of a sudden now that you're with, you know what I'm saying, um, Raul, all black men ain't shit, but your father's black. You get what I'm saying? Like, if you want to date interracially, that's cool and that's your business, that's your own preference, but you don't turn your back on your own race or knock your own race to women or men because you have someone of another race. That's something that irritates me when I see people on YouTube bashing black women or bashing black men. You know what I'm saying? You want to hold this white man that you're with in such a high esteem. You know what I'm saying? Which is cool because that's your man. But don't knock black man because my brother is a good black man. I love both my brothers very dearly. They're very good black dudes. So you're not about to sit here and just talk crazy and say, all oh, black men ain't shit and that's why I'm with a white man. No chick, the black men that you mess with don't shit. Because my brothers handle their business. And that's why I don't respect that. And then when I hear black men out here disrespecting black women and saying, you know, black women ain't shit and that's why I'm with a white girl and this, this and that. I, I take offense to that because you haven't been with every black woman. So don't group everybody in one category and say that, you know what I'm saying, all black women ain't this and all black women ain't that because you haven't dated all black women. Just like that woman who's bashing black men, you haven't dated all black men. You've dated a few knuckleheads. But And then another thing with interracial relationships, um, I think a lot of people who are in these interracial relationships, sometimes I question their motives. Now, if you're with somebody of another race because you truly love that person, you guys have built something together, I respect that. Love is love. And I don't think love has any color boundaries. Some people literally see each other and fall in love at first sight. You know what I'm saying? But then you have other people who claim that they're so happy in their interracial relationship, but then they're so worried about what everybody else thinks. My thing is if you're happy with your relationship, why do you care if people stare at you at the mall? Why do you care if people do this, this, and that? And I feel like a lot of people, a lot of the stuff that people are, 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 you know, a lot of the stuff that people rant about, like, when I'm at the mall with my Asian man, black dudes always come up to us and they be mugging him. They be saying little smart comments and they be threatening him. And I just, I find a hard time believing that. Or like, I'll hear white girls get on the internet and say, you know, when I'm walking around with my black man, black girls always smack their lips and roll their eyes. And, and you know, they always act funny when they see me with my black man. And I'm sure that that happens. You know what I'm saying? Because I've, I've walked with my white homeboy and we're not dating, but that's like my best, you know what I'm saying? That's like one of my best homeboys. And people will see us together and they'll think, you know what I'm saying, that's my man. And they might give him like, you know what I'm saying, little dirty looks or whatever, but it doesn't happen all the time. It may just be that just one individual. But then we can walk past 10 other black dudes and they don't say nothing. They might give him props like, damn, that's your chick. That's what's up. You know what I'm saying? So 
Everybody is not knocking everybody who's in an interracial relationship. When I see a white girl and a black man, I don't roll my eyes at her. I don't smack my lips. I don't go confronting her. It's like, who has time for that? Like, matter of fact, what's so funny is that yesterday I went to go get my youngest from the babysitter because um, she had just picked him up from school, so I was going to her house to go get him. And I had just pulled up. I was getting out my truck, whatever, and I seen this black dude. You know, he's a little cute black boy, whatever. So as I'm walking out my truck, he's walking out the house because it's like a duplex. He's walking down. He seen me. He's like, hey, how you doing? I was like, hi. And then, like, maybe like a, and then like maybe a few seconds later, his girlfriend comes walking out the door, and it was a white girl. So she came walking out the door, and she kind of just stood there and looked at me like, and I think she was thinking I was going to mug her or say something. And she just kind of sat there. She was like, oh, hi. I was like, hi. You know, how you doing? She was like, oh, I'm good. And I was like, what's your name? You know, that's just how I am. I ask people stuff like that. What's your name? She was like, Jessica. I was like, oh, okay. Well, nice to meet you. You know, because they live in the duplex next to the babysitter. So I figured, you know what I'm saying, I might as well introduce myself, being that I'm going to be coming to get my son every day from here. So, you know, and I know she, she probably was kind of shocked, like, oh, Damn, a cool black girl who didn't cuss me out because I'm with a black man. And I just find it hard to believe that every time you go out with your black man, black girls are mugging you, rolling their eyes at you, cussing you out. I just, I think some people over-exaggerate with the whole interracial relationship and they try and make it seem like more than what it is. I mean, come on, this is 2011. Like, everybody has seen a black and white couple. This is not the 1800s. You, no one should be attacking anybody for their personal choice of who they choose to be with and if you are a black woman and you're going up to a white girl to confront her about why she's dating black men you're insecure with yourself because if you have your shit together and you have a man then you wouldn't care who becky is dating point blank and that goes to, to for the same for the brothers who confront white boys or asian boys when they see them with their black girlfriends if you had a chick you wouldn't care what that asian man is doing with the black woman you know so i think a lot of people get so worked up with the whole interracial thing at the end of the day Love who you love, like who you like. If Becky Sue makes you happier than Keisha, it is what it is. I'm happy for you. Have a good life. Now, as far as the people thinking that their kids are better if because their kids are mixed, I think that's bullshit. You know, I don't think that's cool for people to put down other people's kids because of certain features. People be like, oh, my kids are going to be beautiful because they're black and Asian. Or I got black and Mexican kids, so my kids are just gorgeous. Well, not necessarily. You know what I'm saying? But if you want to believe that, then that's fine. You know, because people are going to think highly of their children. Hell, can't nobody tell me nothing about my kids. My kids are adorable. Why? Because they're my kids. You may not think that, but I love my kids to death. And I, my kids are cute to me. And that's all that matters. I don't care what nobody thinks of my kids. Those are my children, you know, so people are always going to be proud of their children or, you know, what I'm saying think their kids are cute. But when you're thinking that your kids are just cute because they have green eyes or because you think your kids are just cute because they have good hair, that's stupid. You know, what I'm saying because what if your kid didn't have that feature, then would that make your child ugly? I would think not. So why are you bragging on that particular feature? If you're if your child had cold black eyes, would that make your child any less less attractive? No, it wouldn't. You know, what I'm saying so. When people brag on certain features on their kids or, you know, oh, my kids are mixed and they're cute because they're light skinned with good hair and green eyes. I think that's silly. You know what I'm saying? Because it just makes me look at, OK, so what if your child didn't come out with that feature or you have one child with coarse hair and one child with good hair? I hate that term. You know what I'm saying? But let's be real. That's what people call it. Um, do you love that child with coarse hair less? You know what I'm saying? So like people need to really watch what they say, because when you constantly up that child that you think is cute because of a particular feature, you're giving both children a complex. You're giving that child with that particular feature a complex to think that they're better than other children who lack that feature. And you're also giving that child who does not have that feature a complex because now they're second guessing themselves. They're second guessing their hair, their features. So don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Love your kids for who they are. Do not big them up because of their features or anything like that. I think that's the most ridiculous thing. But, um, so I think he made some really good points in the letter. I want you guys to state your opinion. Um, he wanted to get an open discussion. What do you guys feel about interracial dating? Um, do you feel like it's a big deal? I mean, it's 2011. Everybody's doing it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't find any problems with interracial dating. I feel like to each his own. But again, I have issues with people knocking their own race once they start dating outside their, their race. I have an issue with that. I don't feel like you should knock your own race. And that goes for white girls. You know what I'm saying? Don't disrespect white boys and say that white boys are, you know, are this and that. And, you know, they're beneath you now because you're dating Jamal. It, it goes the same way just with, you know, with Asian girls. Don't disrespect Asian men because now you have a white man. You know what I'm saying? Still be proud of your race. Still be proud of who you are. Just love that person for who they are. So that's my opinion. Leave your opinion on what you think. All right.
This is 